Van Til's following Calvin and the do, on the doctrine of autotheos. Uh, he's following old Princeton's theology of perichoresis. He's following Bavink on the same, uh, particularly God as absolute personality. And the idea that Adam is created in natural religious fellowship with God and needs only covenant to advance that fellowship to its beatitude, it puts Van Til's uh, view of the creator-creature relation over against both Rome and Bart, because what unites Roman Bart, this is more the book, we don't treat it as much in the course, but what unites Roman Bart is that for Bart, the first man is immediately the first sinner. He just is sin, Adam. Uh, and for, for Roman Catholic theology, man is plagued by concupiscence and does not have natural religious fellowship with God. He needs an ontological and ethical supplement and right. in infused grace. And what Van Til saying, following Voss, following Bavink, uh, following our confessional tradition is that there is the the integrity of Adam as the image of God, is that he is created with natural religious fellowship built into the core of who he is as the image of God, needing only covenant to represent that, to return to God in full beatitude as a creature. And what does that reflect? Well, it reflects the fact that he doesn't need to participate in the essence of God in order to achieve that fruition. And just as there's no communication of essence among the persons in the Trinity, so there's no participation of essence needed in order for Adam to advance to a consummation. And so really what, what Van Til's theology proper does is it gives us a distinctively Trinitarian foundation for the development of classical federal theology, classical Amen. federalism in the tradition of Voss, so unique and so beautiful.